I have here a Toshiba Dynabook R930 laptop. The owner said he bought it second hand and it's working fine for a couple of months until someone reformat it and it became so slow until it end up not being used at all. So let's see what we can do with this laptop. This laptop has a third generation Intel Core i5-3320M processor. It has two cores and four threads with 2.6 GHz clock speed and it has 4 gigs of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM and still running using a hard disk drive from HGST. The best thing to do with this is to replace it with an SSD. But since everyone doesn't have a budget to buy SSD, especially now this current situation, I have no choice but to do something. So I checked the laptop and I noticed that this laptop has an Avas antivirus. This antivirus is good. I have been using and installing this to systems during the Windows 7 days. But nowadays since Windows 10 has a lot of services and features that really ate up the RAM usage on every system, especially this one that has only 4 gigs of RAM. By the way, 4 gigs of RAM is the least RAM capacity to run Windows 10 fine. This is based on what I learned and observed. Now what I learned and observed about this Avas antivirus and all the antivirus software, it is always running on your system and checking files and datas, especially now that we do computer stuff online. And this will add more usage on your RAM. I'm not saying that any antivirus is not needed. Antivirus is still much needed until this time. Or this third-party antivirus like Avas, AVG, etc. is sometimes too much for your system having only 4 gigs of RAM. But Windows 10 has its own antivirus, which is Windows Defender. In my experience in using it, it really does its job on keeping your system protected, especially when you have licensed Windows 10. That's why I'm going to remove this antivirus. Anyway, it is a free version. On removing it, I go to the settings, then apps, then click Abbas, then click uninstall. Just read and follow the options until it will ask to restart your system. And I also go to the taskbar and go to the startup tab and enable all so that there will be no apps running during the Windows 10 startup. After the Windows boots up again, I go to the Windows Defender. I go to the lower corner of the desktop screen, click this arrow, click the Windows Defender, and the window will pop up. But in this case, it has this warning sign and it is needed to be updated. By the way, Windows Defender Virus Protection Update depends on Windows Update. So I go to Windows Update and update it manually. But this Windows 10 is weird. It has this statement and also I can't adjust the resolution on this laptop. But on the brighter side, it seems the system is running fine right now. The RAM usage is not that high as before and all the system is working fine but not as fast as having a SSD in the system. The downside is that it seems that this laptop is not protected from virus or malware, etc. My plan is to reinstall Windows 10. And also, I want to check the condition of the hard drive. So I remove this hard drive and put it to my PC. Check the health using the hard disk Sentinel. It seems that the hard disk drive is good. We have no problem on this hard drive. Now I will put it back to the laptop and reinstall Windows 10. In installing Windows 10, I will do a fresh install. I will remove the old Windows install and replace it with a new one. And this is how I do it. First, I insert my bootable Windows 10 installer. And watch this. On this menu, make sure you select Custom Install Windows Only. This option will do fresh Windows installation. After that, select the partition or the drive that you will put the new Windows installation. In this case, this drive is where the old Windows install. Anyways, the important files are moved to another partition before I do all this. My style is deleting the partition and like this partition 2 and partition 1 where the system reserve is. Then click new, it will make new partitions for Windows install. Now wait to finish the installation. 
This will take long because we are using hard disk drive. I will just cut some scenes. Now here in this menu, this is very important to make your Windows 10 fast. This is turning off the optional service because if you turn this on, it will add more RAM usage on your system. Anyway, these services is not that needed. I only leave this option, find my device, turned on because this laptop might need it in the future in case this laptop is lost. Now let's wait until the installation is finished. After the installation is finished and programs installation, I go to the task manager by right clicking the start menu and click task manager. There I go to the startup tab and disable programs and leave only Windows Defender enabled. So it will start its protection during the startup. The purpose of this is to avoid more programs loading on startup and also avoid longer loading time. Now the laptop is doing fine and I use OBS to capture the display in real time. It is not as fast as using SSD in the system but it will do. Even though this laptop is not meant for gaming but I want to stress test it to see if it has thermal throttle. Anyway there are a lot of ways of stress testing the system. But I just want to stress test this using games. And also I want to know what this laptop is capable. So I install one game which is Valorant. Well Valorant doesn't run fine in this system. It seems I become a clickbait in this game. The good thing is that it is not thermal throttling. Anyway I use HW monitor to check the thermals. On idle temperature it is about 41 to 63 degrees. During the game it is about 73 to 93 degrees. It didn't go as far as 100 degrees. Well this is fine because this laptop doesn't have thermal solution like gaming laptops. And this is the reason that you don't game on this kind of laptops. On playing Valorant, the FPS max to 53 but drops to 1 to 2 FPS and it is very constant that cause stutters and it end up being killed in the game. Actually, it is not a good gaming experience. Maybe if I add RAM, it will improve. But still the clock speed of the processor is very low for only 2.6 GHz, I think it will not do much of an improvement. All in all, this laptop that is running on a hard disk drive is fine if you don't open a lot of programs. And also, I disable some Windows 10 services. It's really different having SSD in the system. So that's all for now. I hope I give you some tips and ideas about laptops. For more contents like this, make sure you subscribe to support my channel and everyone have a nice day.